Dwayne Eddy, one of rock's first guitar heroes and an idol of George Harrison, Jeff Beck, John Fogerty, Dan Auerbach, and many other guitar slingers who followed, died Sunday at his home in Franklin, Tennessee. He was 86. A source close to the family confirmed Eddie's death to Rolling Stone. Released in 1958, Eddie's Rebel Rouser wasn't the first instrumental hit, but it was one of the most arresting. Arriving just a few years into the birth of rock and roll, Rebel Rouser announced that the raucous new genre was impacting even non-vocal music. The echoey, vibrato-drenched twang of Eddie's guitar sounded like a space-age version of an Old West TV series theme. Subsequent singles, like 40 Miles of Bad Road, built on that foundation. Born in New York State, Eddie, who began playing guitar around the time he was in kindergarten, spent his teenage years in Arizona after his family relocated there. At a local radio station, he met producer and songwriter Lee Hazelwood, and the two went on to record Rebel Rouser, a galloping blast of twangy guitar and saxophone. Rebel Rouser ended up in the top 10, and Eddie followed it with other singles that capitalized on his signature sound, played with a red Gretsch guitar. The word twang appeared in the title of some of the nearly two dozen albums he released. Although he was associated with a style of music that sounded like landlocked surf music, inspired by the surrounding Arizona desert he once said, Eddie also pushed the boundaries of what was considered instrumental music at the time. He recorded an album of Bob Dylan covers Gone Twang, and another, Songs of Our Heritage, that focused on acoustic bluegrass. Included was his version of In the Pines, later known to Nirvana fans as Where Did You Sleep Last Night? Eddie's style of instrumental music dipped in popularity as the 60s began to wane and Eddie pivoted to a producer role, working with, among others, Waylon Jennings. Coincidentally, Eddie was married to country singer Jesse Coulter from 1960 to 68 before she married Jennings in 1969. A new appreciation for Eddie arrived in 1986. That year, Art of Noise recruited him for a techno remake of the theme for the 60s TV detective series Peter Gunn, which Eddie had cut in 1960. That rebirth led to an all-new Eddie album the following year, with contributions from Harrison, Fogarty, Paul McCartney, Jeff Lynne, Rye Cooder, and David Lindley. In 1994, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame by foreigners Mick Jones, 